going to pray for prosperity of your life, that there is a season that God is ushering to you of prosperity where you are going to eat in fullness. Yet we have edited where we were supposed. Then after a week, you hear that there is an accident in the family. Somebody has died close to you because there is a spirit and a demon of witchcraft that we did not deal with because you could not tell the dream as it is. Am I talking somebody in this place? Mm -hmm. So you find out that every dream, every dream is controlled by three elements. The first element that controls a dream is God element. The second element that controls the dream is psychological element. And the last element that controls the dream is the devil or Satan. So when dreams are coming, they can either be godly dreams or they can be psychological dreams that are coming from your mind. I will linger a little bit on psychological or mental dreams. When God gives you a dream, that dream speaks a message to you. Either he is warning you, either he is telling you of a season that is about to come. Like what he did with Pharaoh. He warned Pharaoh and he told him a season of greatness, of abundance that was about to come. When God is coming to Joseph, he is telling Joseph of a season that Joseph was about to come into. Where Joseph was going to be a leader. So dreams, they come to declare a season. But mental dreams now, or psychological dreams, they come from the dreamers of what you've been thinking. The more you meditate upon a thing, you think upon a thing, you think upon a thing, you think upon it, it comes back into dream. You read about Nebuchadnezzar, the Bible says, Nebuchadnezzar, before he went to sleep, he was on top of his policy. Then he was seeing other kingdoms and all the things that he had done for Babylon. You are seeing the splendor of Babylon. You are seeing the exuberance of Babylon. You are seeing the wealth of Babylon. After that, he was now telling himself that I made all these things by my own power and in my ability. Then the Bible says, Nebuchadnezzar then went to sleep. The Bible says uh, that then the thoughts of his mind came to him. Then he had a dream. So when the thoughts of his mind came to him, that's when God came to, to Nebuchadnezzar and warned Nebuchadnezzar, then he was given his portion, fashioned by God. What God gave Nebuchadnezzar in the dream, it became his physical equivalent. So which means whatever dream that you can bring at any time, you mustn't take it for granted because whatever you see in the dream becomes a physical equivalence. The reason why you don't see it is because sometimes you can dream yourself being chased, dream yourself being broke, dream yourself being rejected. You wake up in the morning, no one rejects you, no one is chasing you. Then it happens after two months when you have forgotten. That's how the devil is clever. He allows those things to happen. So for you to connect the events and the dream, it becomes difficult. But every dream that you once had, he has got a physical equivalence. So the Bible says, and God says unto Nebuchadnezzar, I'm going to destroy you. So if you think, maybe before you sleep, I want you to do it as you go back home. I want you to think of something that you want the most. Maybe think of yourself driving a beautiful car. Think about it for only 10 minutes, then go to sleep. You are going to see yourself in a beautiful house with 15 cars, a fleet of them. You are going to see yourself driving the latest cars. The thoughts of your dreams will come to you. If you think about somebody that you once met, wherever you met with that somebody, that somebody is going to come into a dream. Am I talking to somebody in this place? So your thoughts can control your dreams. So when you think something, that's why it's good to pray before you sleep. You see now the importance of praying before you sleep. Prayer now, it pushes and clears your mind and your spirit. So that whatever comes now, they come through the luminal of the spirit. Before you sleep, you just say, God bless me, bless my sleep. Everything that was supposed to be elementary, to attack and affect your mind, it will not come and affect your mind. Why? Because you have cleared your mind. 